Well, hello, have you ever wanted to travel with your art business? I kind of wondered, how is it possible? What do I need to do? What do I need to think about? Then this video is just for you. Right now, I'm in the middle of traveling with my art business. I'm in my friend's kitchen shooting this video just for you. So in this video, I'm gonna share some of my tips and tricks, things to do, things to think about when you decide to go traveling, whether that's short term or long term, and of course, some ideas of what to take with you in terms of artist materials as well. Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie, and I just love to help artists like you to set up, market and grow a successful art business doing what you love. If you'd like more tips and tricks on how to build that profitable art business, then you're in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe below this video and hit the bell to get notified as well. I put out new content every single week and I look forward to having you join my growing YouTube circle. Okay, so you want to travel with your art business and you're wondering exactly how to get started. So before you do, here are some key questions that you really want to ask yourself and consider the answers to. So firstly, what country or countries are you thinking of going to? We're thinking climate here, folks. Are you going to cold countries, warm countries? Are you going to go to multiple countries or just one country and settle? How long are you planning to be away? Is it a short trip, a couple of weeks, a month, six months? Or perhaps you're thinking about doing this for a year or more. What sort of accommodation are you going to be taking? Are you doing the backpacker thing and you'll be staying in hostels or doing some couch surfing? Or will you be doing some more glamping and nice Airbnbs? So all of these things count into what you're going to be taking with you. And of course, that $64 million question, how easy is it going to be to get on the Wi-Fi? So here's some basic travel tips. Number one, stick to one climate. So if you're gonna go away for an extensive period of time and you're going through kind of summer and winter, then you're gonna have a wardrobe issue. So you're either gonna be buying, selling and exchanging clothes or traveling with way more than you want to. So if you stay in one kind of climate, you only need one set of clothes, right? And it's, and it's gonna keep your luggage to a minimum, which you need when traveling. The next tip is just be ready to pay extra for more data and more Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is the thing that is going to run your business, all right? And when you go to different countries, it's not always going to work as well as you were promised. You might need to buy a new SIM for each country that you go in, pop it in your phone and use that data. You might need to buy a little Wi-Fi box and top that up. Or you might need to go to places and pay like a co-working space and pay for good quality Wi-Fi. If you're traveling in places where Wi-Fi is not the top priority for that country, then you're definitely going to have to plan ahead. What are you going to be doing on the trip and how much internet are you actually going to be needing? Some places it's super easy, but really from my experience, and I've traveled around quite a lot, the one thing that's always been the challenge is getting on good quality Wi-Fi. So I would say be prepared to spend extra to get something that works so you're not spending hours of your time, you know, being on dial up, waiting for things to kind of load. Definitely plan ahead with where you're going to be working. Now, you might not want to be working all day because let's face it, if you're traveling, you probably want to explore the places you're in. But plan ahead in terms of finding cafes, co-working spaces, that nice Airbnb room that you could do a little bit of work from, or perhaps you've taken on a cabin somewhere and you can sit outside. You really want to think about the hours of the day that you're going to be doing the work and where you're going to be doing that because you can end up losing a lot of time and I absolutely know this one moving from cafe to cafe you get there and they give you two hours internet you sit down and you're like do something and then you've got to move to another it's very disruptive so you definitely want to plan ahead and find a few spots that you could actually get the all-important work done carry minimal art equipment with you now when I left Australia to come on this trip I had everything out in my studio and I have brought with me, and I'm going to share that on another video, a selection of things I don't normally use in my existing practice that I wanted to explore and were very portable. All right, so I had to part with an awful lot of the things. I did pile up the paints I wanted to bring and I thought they're too heavy. It's going to be a problem bringing them back in the country. Leave them behind. I ended up with all sorts of small things and it ended up kind of, I said it would probably fill a shoebox. And then I brought paper, larger paper, locally. 
So you really want to think about what's the absolute minimum that you need in terms of art equipment. And bearing in mind that some things you can buy on the go, but then you don't want to be adding to your baggage either. So you want to be thinking about what do you really need? And yes, all those yummy pencils that you like to use in your studio might not be coming with you. So what do you actually need? Minimum art equipment. And then my last tip for this section is definitely allow way more time than you think for settling settling in your new location. So wherever you're going, it always takes a while to find out where's the shop, where's the cafe, where am I? Where am I gonna do things? Do I need to walk for inspiration? What am I gonna be doing? There's that unsettling period. I don't know anyone who's just landed somewhere, opened up in a, a new venue in a new country and then just cracked on. There's always a bit of time to settle in and work out where you are. So just allow for it and enjoy it. Go out and explore your new environment and then perhaps plan to do the work in week number two. All right, here's some specific tips for when you're actually getting the business, the working time done, when you're actually building the art business on the go. So the first tip here is to just be realistic with how many hours you actually want to be working. Now, whether that's doing the marketing, the admin, uploading stuff to your you know, sales platform, whether that's actually painting, drawing, or that might be delivering some sort of service online, but how, how many hours out of the day do you actually want to be doing that? You've chosen to travel because presumably you want to explore a place. So the way I like to look at it is I want to be doing that maybe half the day and have the other half of the day to explore. Now it doesn't always happen that way. If you're going away to complete a specific project, then that's something different. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then you definitely want to use nice cafes and nice Airbnb settings. In the past, I've been quite lucky with finding pretty Airbnbs that I knew would be good background when I was doing a live video, for example. So you wanna be thinking about where you're going to be doing that. And of course you want to sit in a nice setting. Nothing nicer than being somewhere lovely and warm and sitting in a nice cafe with a lovely view. Now let's talk about money. Make sure that you have a very clear income projection for the coming weeks, months that you're away. So that you've either got passive income streams, money that's already coming in, or you've got a lump sum already set aside that would cover all your business expenses and pay your salary while you're traveling, or you're very clear of what it is you're going to be selling as you travel. There's nothing worse than rocking up somewhere and then looking at your bank account going, oh, there's no money in it this month. That's not the way to run a business. So you definitely want to have projects that you're working on, a sales offer that you know that you're gonna launch, but ideally you've already got the money to the side or you've already got passive income from one of your income streams covering that so that you can travel a little bit more with ease. So obviously here you'd be using your business plan. So check out this video on my business plan training and all the business planning information, including our lovely Build Your Artist Business Plan course below this video. And the final little tip for this section is take some good quality headphones with you because if you are in a co-working space or a cafe, sometimes it can be quite noisy. I don't mind the noise myself, but having your own playlist, it's perhaps something you listen to anyway, keeps you in that kind of work zone. So this whole working on the go, traveling with your art business is gonna suit you if you're in a particular stage or you're doing something specific. So it will suit you particularly if you already have an established online sales platform and all you'll be doing is creating a few more products or updating your existing ones or fulfilling on your marketing routine. It will also work if you're going away to just complete one project. You're writing a book, you're putting a collection of illustrations together, etc etc something you're writing an online course and you just want to be somewhere foreign and nice to get that done it also suits you if you're good at batching your content ahead of time so you can batch posts and emails and all, all sorts of things before you travel that's making it a lot easier and enabling you to do a lot less while you're away it's also going to suit you if you actually love the laptop lifestyle and if you find that at home you naturally work from cafes anyway and it's gonna suit you if you can remain flexible, super patient, and always remember to have lots of fun. So, traveling with your art business can be one of the most rejuvenating and exciting things that you can do. You can see new perspectives, you can gain new inspiration, you can take lots of photographs, and you can come back ready to crack on with new projects. But it can also be a little bit stressful if you haven't taken into consideration some of the things I've discussed today. 
So the most important thing, obviously, is to really work out where you're going, why you're going, how long you're going to be away, and all those tips and things I talked about at the beginning. If you've got any questions about traveling with your art business, I'd love to hear from you. Shoot those below in the comments below this video. And look out for the next one where I'm just going to share what art materials I've brought with me on this trip. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on another one.